Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Google Authenticator for your WordPress website. This is going to enhance the security of your website significantly because you're going to need a second form of authentication uh, in order to access the back end of your site. So you will need a username, a password, and the unique randomly generated code that's delivered to your smartphone. This will make it much more difficult for people to access your website. Now, I'm also going to show you what happens when you lose your phone. What happens if you don't have you know, access to the unique uh, randomly generated code uh, to access your site. I'm going to show you how to get around that. And I debated whether or not I was going to put this section in the video tutorial uh, because obviously you know, this can be abused. But I wanted to make sure that people understood that security is more than just the plugins you install on your website. Security also involves your web host environments, your server security, and how you access you know, that, uh, you know, your server and your web host. So there's more than just the plugins you install in order to protect your site. I compare this to you know, a bank, right? You can have the best, strongest building um, you know, where your bank is housed. You can have the best security doors, you can have the strongest vaults ever created um, you know, securing the money inside the bank. But if you have a weak foundation, that can become an access point. A person, you know, can tunnel their way underground and break into the bank, right? You've probably seen that in a bunch of, a bunch of movies. Uh, so that's the same thing here. You can have all the security on your website itself, but if your server environment is insecure, a person can tunnel underneath and they can, you know, get into the, uh, into your website that way. So I'm going to show you both how to set up Google Authenticator and also how to get around it in the event that you lose your phone and also why you need to take security more seriously. All right, obviously watch the rest of the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'll give you more tips and tricks on how to manage your WordPress powered website. Let's get started with the video. All right, so let's get started with this demonstration. I'm on my local server and I'm going to show you how to set up the Google Authenticator plugin for the uh, second form of authentication for your website. All right, so in order to do that, go into the back end of your website. You're gonna go to where it says plugins and you're gonna go to add new and you're gonna put in Google Authenticator and then it's going to be this one. This is the um, plugin I'll be reviewing today. It's installed on over 20,000 plus active installations, has really good reviews, uh, updated within the past two months. Um, I already have it set up on my local host, but if you don't already have it set, just install it and activate it. And then if you wanna look at more details, you can check them out over here. So it's compatible with the Android phone, iPhone, and Blackberry if you're still using that. And uh, you know, it's a really good plugin to try out. All right, so now once you set this up, uh, you're going to go into your users, go into your profile, and then you're going to see a new section over here for the Google Authenticator settings. Uh, you'll want to set it to active. Uh, if you want to set the uh, set it to relaxed mode, this will make sure that it's not a 30 seconds uh, that you need in order to access, uh, to input the code. Uh, you will get more time to do that. You can click check on this if you want. Uh, this is the description for your authenticator uh, application on your phone. And this is the uh, QR code that you could scan or the secret key itself. You can also set up an, uh, an app password, but it's recommended not to do this because this will decrease the overall security. So in order to get started, just click on the show or hide QR code. And then you're gonna need to scan this barcode with the Google Authenticator app that's available on your iOS and Android devices. Uh, so make sure you have that first. Uh, so you'll scan this into your device. I just scanned it into mine. All right, so now I have that. Um, and then you just go down and save your settings, update the profile. Once that's done, let's try this out. I'm gonna log out. And now you see I have the second a form of authentication is asking for. So I'll put in my username, I'll put in my password, and then I'll put in the authenticated code that's randomly generated on my phone. And then I'll log in, and now I'm in the back end. All right, great. So now I just added another form 
of uh, security to my website, making it more difficult for somebody to break into the back end of my site. Uh, that's important because we, we know that websites are getting attacked on a daily basis. We know that brute force attacks are taking place often, and we need to take responsibility and do everything we can to secure our websites from, uh, you know, from being attacked and hacked. All right, so now we saw how to set up the Google Authenticator plugin, and we saw how easy it is to do so. You just need to get the app um, from the uh, for your device, whether it's an iPhone or Android phone, and you need to scan the barcode. So very easy to do. But now what happens if you lose your phone? You know, what do you do in that case? And in that case, all you have to do is go into your server, your web host account, go to your control panel, and just, you can either delete the plugin itself, or you could just, you know, put an underscore right before uh, the plugin name. That'll deactivate the plugin on your website from your server environment. So this is important for you to understand. You know, security is more than just installing a plugin. It's also, you know, making sure your web host and your server environment is secure as well. So you wanna make sure you have a very strong username and extremely strong password for your web server. And you wanna make sure your database password is secure. You wanna, if you're gonna FTP stuff up to your server, make sure you're using SFTP and make sure you can set up, you know, two-factor authentication for your web host account as well. You wanna set up all these layers to protect yourself, you know, from getting hacked on the front end of your site, the back end of your site, or from your server environment. All right, so now let's go here. I'm gonna log out and you're gonna see that I no longer have that other authentication option down here. Um, the plugin has been disabled, so now I could just log in normally. And I'm in. If I go to plugins, go to installed, you're gonna see the plugin Google Authenticator has been deactivated due to an error. That's because we uh, we put the underscore right before. We didn't delete the plugin. You know, I just wanted to show you how to, uh, you know, to disable it from the back end. All right, so now if you want to set it back up, you will have to remove that underscore and then you can set it back up. You also need to make sure you rescan the QR code because it'll generate a new ID for you. So you want to make sure you do that. All right, so this is another great way, you know, to secure your website by using a plugin uh, that require will make it a requirement for a second form of, of authentication. It's a really good plugin. You can uh, check it out on the WordPress uh, website itself. Installation is very easy to do. They have the installation guide there. And then they have their fact sheet also. Can I use Google Authenticator for WordPress with an Android or iPhone apps for WordPress? Yes. And then it goes down the list of other facts it has. And it also shows you, you know, similar steps to what I did where if you don't have the device itself or whatever, if you have SSH or FTP access to your web hosting account, you can manually delete the plugin from the WordPress installation. All right, so that's how you get around that. Um, so that's why it's important to secure your web host because you can get around this. Another way people can get around it is if they go into your database um, as well and they can go into the users uh, section of your database and they can create a brand new user here or they can change the password of the existing user who's the administrator on the account. Uh, they can do that by going to edit and then right here is the hashed password. They can change this and then uh, they'll be able to gain access to the front end of your site if they wanted to do so that way. So again, security is multi-layered. You have to really stay on top of it and make sure you're securing all your access points to your server, uh, to your website, and to your online accounts. I definitely recommend using a two-factor authentication uh, system because it makes it much more difficult to access the back end of your site and also use a password manager. I think that, you know, password managers are, you know, a lifesaver. They help you to create very strong passwords that are unique uh, to specific accounts and you can update them often and you never have to remember the exact password because if you're going to have a 20 character, 30 character, or 40 character password, you're not going to remember it. But It'll be unique and strong and virtually impossible to brute force attack. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this episode where I showed you how to set up 
the Google Authenticator plugin to protect your website from brute force attacks. And also, in the event that you lost your phone, how you can get around it by disabling or deactivating or deleting the plugin from your uh, web host and server environment. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I'll give you some more tips and tricks on how to protect your WordPress website, how to optimize it for search engines and for users, and also how you can market your website on the web. All right, don't forget, thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.